Okay, guys, we're going to do our Granny Square continuation out of this book, the Granny Square book, Timeless Techniques and Fresh Ideas. And we are doing the Nicole Granny. And if I can turn off a light, we're going to look at the pattern here. Oh, that didn't help. Let me see. All right. Maybe that'll work. Sorry about that. Okay, let's get in here. So this is what it's going to look like. And here's my sample. And this is the pattern. Just kind of our quick understanding the pattern work here. Is that uh, we're going to do a chain six or do the magic ring. And then we're going to start. So we're going to, what we're going to, the only stitches we're using here are the double and our chain stitch. So it doesn't have a lot of uh, different stitches in it, but it's a little bit different. You can see here, we're going to start with our normal cluster build up here, a three of the first two rows, but it changes. And you can see here, we're chaining one, we're going to chain two, and we're going to chain three. Now, if I want this to match my um, square from last week, I think I would go one more row up. Because this is a five row square or this one's a three one um i would go at least one more row to see if it would match and then i could save them and we could do like a sample granny square project so it's just to remember what we're doing here we chain one we are only have two double crochets here and then we chain two and chain three so every row we go up we're just adding an extra chain to that row the corners only have one in between the clusters, so that doesn't change. It stays the same all the way up. Okay, let's get started. Okay. We are going to put all our lights back where they were, maybe. I'm going to use this peach yarn. This is what I started to do use yesterday for pick a stitch. What am I off? Okay. All right, so whichever way you want to do this, I'm going to start with the magic circle. If you're going to do the chain, remember chain six. This is the, whoop, come back here. My fingers don't always want to work with this one, so sometimes the chaining works. Neither one of them is better than the other one, I don't think. Well, I'll take that back. If I'm doing a, a rectangle shawl, I like chaining. Somehow, I like the way it looks for that. So, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do our clusters. Chain one. One, two. Oops. Two. Chain one, making sure I've got three. Two. Three. We have one, two, three, one more. And if you just need a re just a reminder, the double crochet is yarn over, go under, draw yarn, two and two. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to close our circle. I like to do mine as tight as I can, and then I'm going to do a slip stitch here until I get to the next corner, right here, and we're going to start. One, two, three. I'm going to do two sets of clusters. Chain one. Another cluster. We're going to stop after this since we get to the side because it's just really basic. And then we'll start what changes just a little bit in the third row. So here's our corner. We're going to chain one, 
and we're going to get to the next corner okay so that's basically all our second row or round two is chain one and three more that losing it all here we go okay so there you go so uh, corners we're going to chain three uh mm -hmm. three double crochets chain one three double crochets we on this row you're just chaining one to the next corner and then we're going to do the same thing it's three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one and do these last two corners okay so we're going to let you do that and i'll be right back with you okay so i am starting to get work these my slip stitches to my corner And here we are so round three now there's only four rounds so we're over halfway which just makes it a fast project so what we're going to do I'm on the wrong one I'm trying to always keep my directions up just in case I need it so we're just going to start with the corner which is all the same so it's chain three double crochet double crochet There you go. Get back in there. Chain one. Okay, so that scared me. My phone went off. It's a friend of mine that lives in Arizona. She has a cleaning business, and she thought she had a small one that maybe I would like to do, but it turns out it's a huge building, and a lot more would be needed for it. So, okay, where were we? We did our three. We chained one. We did our, we're going to do another set of three double crochets. And this is where just a little variation comes on. We we'll need one more. We're going to chain two. One, two. And in this space, we're not going to do a cluster of three. We're going to do a double crochet. Chain two. And a double crochet. So that's just a little bit of the variant of the crank, you know, doing a basic granny square. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, if you want to go back and do a granny square, just start with this shedding. Where is that? My hair's not that dark. Okay, so if you want to learn this one, let me know. We will go back and take the, do the original granny square. And uh, that way, make some of this will be more for familiar with you and if you want to do the half granny squares let me know because i think sometimes it would be pretty to you know we always put in this oh, i'm going to get this one back out we do it this way but that would be pretty too and then just do the half ones here uh just kind of a different angle but if you want to use, learn the half ones because there is a little bit of difference in doing them okay so we're going to ch chain two we get sidetracked. Okay, so we're going to do our three double crochets. Now remember, we're just doing one chain, and then we'll go back and doing our clusters again. So the corners are going to have our clusters. And then we're going to, on the third row, we're chaining two. And we're going to go into that space there do a double crochet chain two we're going to go right back into that space with a double crochet so it's just missing that third one there and we're going to do our next corner okay so i'm going to pause my side here let you do the next two corners just remember one on the corner two chains in the middle and there's only two double crochets here and we'll see you back over here and we'll do the last row okay so let's straighten it out a little bit i've got my last side so this is how we're starting to you know get a vision of what it's going to look like with the two. Oh, you know what i'm gonna have to go back look what i did and this happens 
I didn't do my crochet right, so I'm going to go fix that. This is why I try to look at it as I do. Let's see, because it should be looking here. You can tell I forgot to stitch right. So let me go back and fix that, and we'll do the last one. We all make mistakes, and it's just, uh, just go back and fix it up. So I'll be right back with you as soon as I fix my mistake. Okay, so there I fixed it. We can spread it out here to kind of get the look of it. Get my little last of my tail there so as you can see this is where we're at now I'm just going to just, we're going to start the last one remember just slip stitch to your corner we're going to chain three And we're going to corners remember stay the same so we're just going to do clusters of three chain one clusters of three okay so there's our corner this when we did two here remember we are going to do three chains for this row so one two three we are going to do we're going to go back over in this spot where we did kind of see the v we're going to do the single crochet chain three chain three do our other double double crochet chain three we're going to do our corner so let's just do our corner and then we'll do one more side together and then i will let you finish we'll meet at the end of this round just remember the corners only get one they stay the same through the whole pattern Oh, I'm losing them. Come back. No, let's just start again. Sometimes it's not worth the fight to hold on. Okay, so we have three and three. And we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And remember, we're just working into this V. We're going to double, chain, double crochet. Chain three. And double crochet right back in there. Chain three. All right, then we're right back to our corner. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna let you guys do the next two sides on your own and we'll meet up over here and I will decide whether or not I'm going to venture in one more row to match my previous square or we'll just stop there. Okay, so I'm on my last side. We're just going to shape this a little bit and see that it looks like here I am going to slip stitch here to end my row for this one and then let's decide I won't keep you on for the actually stitching of it but let me see how much difference we have if I did one more row we could use this to throw into our sample granny square. So I'm going to do one more row and I'll meet you right back. I'm just this time around, if you're doing it with me, if you feel like it, just remember our corners are always the same, but I'm going to chain four instead of three and build this. And I will be right back with you with that finished square. Okay, so I did the one more row. I'm kind of glad I did. Okay. Let me see. Come back, you. Let me see if that's gonna. Yeah, they're similar in size. Okay, so I'm going to probably make me a little stash of those. I'm gonna chain two. This is how I end my work majority of the time. Turn that out. Pull my yarn and just pull that down. Some yards get. A better tighter there we go maybe and then we'll 
um, oh my goodness, brain, brain work, we're going to weed those in, okay, so there we go, what do you think, you can't think of a word, just go on and pretend, right, <laughs> okay, there it is, I kind of like that, I like that color, um, I do wonder what some of these would look like with Mary in a variegated color, which, um, would be nice, but so far, as I said, I, I'm just using, and I've got still more of this, so I might make another one because I have two of the Adrian, and if I'm, because I do one as a sample, then one for real, or I'll just add another row to this one. I can do that. I've got plenty of this yarn left over. It just, uh, it's not... I made an afghan with this. I don't know if you if I showed you guys that. But um it's very thready. I was trying to see you can see here where it's this is what it's like. The whole all of it's like separated. It's not twisted at all. So there's this the original size, and this is just with adding one more row. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. So uh, do we want to pick out what we're gonna do next time? I kind of said I wanted to do a complicated one, or do you want to just go in order if you watch this far along one thank you so much because i don't think anybody gets as far or they skip around this one my blooming garden uh, granny rather oh this is another very lacy looking one and then of course we have where's that one i liked uh da, 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 da. it was a flower where'd that go um, okay, we could, do, we, we might do this one. It's not like my favorite. We all have favorites, don't we? Sorry, I'm trying to find that flower one that we did. Of course, I have projects in here. Might be a project to use our, uh, finished ones at the end. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, here's a headband. You know what? There's a headband. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize that. Here, I was trying to struggle for how to make one with that one I made with that cotton yarn all right now I know I had a flower one that I thought was pretty in here and now I can't find it oh I like that one too that makes me think of something else and uh oh yeah filet mesh okay I did a sampler of that uh, similar to that okay well I don't know where the flower went it's in there but uh do you want to go as the as the book progresses, we progress? Or would you like me to skip to something more um, different and unusual? If you got this far, please let me know. I appreciate it. Um, I am going to be posting the pick a stitch. Um, I think I'm just going to let you guys pick out of the V stitches. Um, and then next week, maybe pick the other two we're all i'm going to rotate them around a little bit because what something that didn't get picked one time might get picked another time but uh okay that's it i hope you enjoyed it um if you want to save yours along with when i'm going to do mine then at the end we should have a blanket with some really pretty samplers on it and we can work on the flower ones we can always make a border around them like this here we can always add a border to make it where it'd be easier to uh attach i think that yeah all right that's it i appreciate it i hope you're having a wonderful day unfortunately this means i've got to go pack again or go through things and it's a job i am recording some of it just in case you want to see the process of my chaotic, 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 chaotic brain. Uh -uh. Okay, either I didn't have enough caffeine or I've had too much. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.